Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I want to talk to you about bananas. I know we've done several bananas, banana videos, but one thing that I haven't covered that I think is an awesome feature that bananas have is they are very resilient and they come back. So here in Arizona we have very strong monsoon winds. A lot of things can blow these suckers over. I want to show you guys that it doesn't matter if part of your banana tips over, it's not going to die. So this is going to look really, really strange to you. Zoom in and show us how big this banana is. So this is a full, well, it's a full size medium banana that's probably about halfway to maturity, okay? Don't even know what variety this is. Um, I planted so many different ones back here. So I got this saw, which has been disinfected, and watch this. I hit the camera. All right. That'll be some mulch for us later. Um, so camera guy, come over here. Okay. Look at the top of this. So, here I'll, I'll film. So if you look at this, this little center piece right in here, that piece is basically the heart of the banana. And I'm gonna show you guys in a few hours how different it looks. So right now, it is 4 p.m. Let me get that to focus there. You guys can see it's flush. There isn't any extra growth. Um, we'll see what it looks like in a, in a few hours. And then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like uh, every day as an update. So you guys can see just what it looks like every day for a week. So, we'll show you guys an update soon. All right, guys. So, it's been about an hour and a half. And just for size comparison, you can see this center core has gone up that much. So, that's awesome. We'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow. All right. So, it's been 24 hours. And as you guys can see, putting my thumb up next to it, that's quite a bit of growth. And you can actually see another layer has started to come up. So that's just 24 hours growth. And we'll give you guys the next update tomorrow. All right, guys. So this is after two days of cutting it. As you can see, it's already taller than my hand. So that's pretty exciting. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Got to stand back a little bit today. Day three. When you look, we got probably about almost a foot of growth. That's pretty incredible. See you guys tomorrow. Still day three, but I've decided that I'm gonna use some of this for organic gardening fungicide, three garden products in one, fungicide, insecticide, and miticide. Mainly just because uh, I wanna make sure that we don't get any any fungus development on this guy that could really slow down its process just a just an added precaution just to be safe because I do have another one over here that I did this to a couple weeks ago and it had a nice beautiful leaf but it had fallen off but that could be because of fungus so we'll see if that helps then I'll recommend it all right so I got home a little late from work today but here's day four so quite a bit longer it's pretty cool all right i totally missed day five work was just way too crazy but as you can see on day six you're already seeing another actual leaf coming through in the next few days we'll we'll see a leaf just out and it'll start to look like the banana again it's pretty awesome all right, another long day, so I have to do a night shot, but you guys can see the leaf there is coming out, and it's definitely opening up. So this is uh, seven days, so it's a week. I'll continue doing this until we see the leaf open up, but a lot of progress in just a week. All right, guys, it's day eight. 
And you guys can see quite a bit of growth. The leaves are really starting to get to a point where it's going to unravel. So I think the key at this point is to not let this section um, kind of get weak. We don't have a lot of wind in this area, so I think it's okay. But we'll show you more tomorrow. All right, guys, so day nine. Not a whole lot of difference between day nine and day eight. It's opening up a little bit, but that's where we're at. All right, guys, day 10. So you can see the leaf is really starting to open up now. And you can actually see what portion of the leaf I cut down on the bottom as it's growing. So that's day 10. We'll be back. All right, guys, day 10. You can see that we've really opened up here on day 10. And the leaf is really coming out. Looks like we might have had a gust of wind and it ripped a little bit, or it could have just been the, the process of it coming out of the top here, but starting to get our first big leaf. So here we go. All right, everybody, so it's been a couple weeks now. As you can see, the banana leaf is fully out and exposed. You can actually see a new leaf starting to get ready to pop out through. Down here, you can see it's starting to kind of shrink in around this new area. So I didn't really get into the whys, so why we would do these things. So as you can tell, these get pretty big. Um, and if you want to be able to protect them in the winter time, um, to the point where they still look nice and they still look green and this is a good way to do it you can actually slow down their life cycle to the point where if you think it's going to give you fruit in december it may not be a good time to let it pop out a flower so this will actually kind of slow its growth um, and possibly save you a crop of fruit that's why i'm trying to do it right now the other reasons are uh I have a shade structure back here that I'm going to be converting into a um, winter pro winter protection area with uh, some plastic sheets and it'll stick up way too high so it won't fit inside here so this is another way that I'm going to be able to really protect it and not have the leaves po poke against the, the plastic wrap because that'll burn them and kill them too. So it's a really good way to keep them small in the winter time and also uh, the main point of this is don't freak out if they tip over there's a really good chance that they're going to grow back and actually they'll thrive you're not going to notice any any difference in the banana other than it might be a little bit shorter so hopefully this was helpful if you like the channel please subscribe and we'll keep bringing you more content thanks bye